I got on a, a blended moving average, GameStop from 12 <laughs> to 50 down to 22 in a long cup of, co- of coffee. Who lost money on GameStop? You know what I'm kind of wondering since you mentioned Lululemon dropping just then? <laughs> I'm wondering which portfolio, the meme stock portfolio or the Becky portfolio full of like Lululemon and anthropology and Starbucks or whatever else, which one would have outperformed since COVID? <laughs> well, yeah. Exactly. That, I mean, if there, is this... I mean, you guys are focused on this, Joe. You're doing the meme stock thing. Yeah, that's right. We're doing the meme stock thing here. (laughs) It's fun. What's different this time around versus the last time Odd Lots beat the meme stocks to death? Uh, Yeah, well, we we crushed it last time. We crushed it this time. Um, You know, I think everyone's just, like, seen it before. Stuck culture, a little tired. It was very interesting and novel. And everyone's like, is there something here that people don't understand? Is there these value... And this time it's like we, it feels like we ran the entire story. It's like we fast forwarded to the end of the videotape really fast because like, yeah, we know this story. We know how it ends. We know how it ends before. You might be able to right. make a little bit money front running the next person, but no one really seems to be so, under any illusions. That, well, like, it also feels much new. more cynical on that much note, cyn- right? Like yeah. everyone kind of knows what they're doing, whereas last time yeah. there was the whole narrative of apes together. Not the odd lots who, not go the after odd lots the, who drive towards no. cynicism. That no, would never, never <laughs> happen. Between your two really eclectic backgrounds, should Gary Gensler step in to quote unquote control clowns in the meme stock area? Who wants to take this one? I will, I will give you my take, which is I, I will not offer advice to Gary Gensler, but this is my take. You listen, my, uh, so be nice. Okay. Um, I don't, you know, people should be able to do whatever they want with their money. If they want to gamble in stocks and pay over, sure. you know, go for it. The only people that I really dislike and loathe in this entire situation <laughs> are the people who pretend that buying GameStop or buying AMC is some sort of like revolutionary act where you're like sticking it to the man or like, doing <laughs> like it makes no sense. There's no like, there's no there there, right? It's the, the idea is like, oh, you're going to buy GameStop is going to be some populist act and overturn the elite <laughs> because like the, the Fed has some huge short position on GameStop and you're going to like, come on. And so like the only people who I think are like really like, contemptible in the whole, whole situation are those people but everyone else like if you want to gamble if you want to have fun if you want to like you know post your screenshots to wall street bets <laughs> of how much money you made or lost be my guest the most charitable interpretation of meme investing i think and the one that i sometimes subscribe to to make myself feel better is if you want to treat the stock market like a GoFundMe for mm-hmm. a business yeah, right. that you have feelings about whether it's gamestop or yeah, amc right. you have this sort of nostalgia associated with it then Fine. I guess the most uncharitable uh, interpretation of it would be stock manipulation, and that's where you get into the Gensler stuff. I will say, every once in a while, I think about what it would be like if uh, the meme crowd came for commodities. Yep. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if you remember in the original meme stock uh, craze. 2021 there was some talk of going after silver and right. i think there was like a tiny bit of a squeeze but then it petered out sometimes i wonder what would happen then and whether feelings would start to change if suddenly people are squeezing i don't know the price of corn or well, we've something had, oh, yeah. huge moves in co- uh, cocoa that's huge right. moves in copper huge moves in gold, coffee silver orange and, and juice the commodities have been ripping so who knows but i i just know that in meme stocks this time around the amount of dollars actually right. being traded yeah. every day is really significant so i'm always like <laughs> Who the hell's Dude, this it's stuff? pretty wild that GameStop <laughs> basically got very or close, not quite to its highs from the yeah. last cycle from like nowhere. Yeah, right. But no it's volume. like that was like so fast. To, I do think like yeah, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say to provide wisdom on this. Sure. You know, I, I mean, he was shortlisted for the new coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sheldon <laughs> Keefe is out, and they picked Craig Berube, which I get because of his work with well, the, the Flyers Luke. and the Blues. But I'm sorry, Luke Kawa was shortlisted for that slot. Yeah. Toronto. What's he gonna add to this? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I think now that his now that his <clears throat> career path of coaching the Toronto Maple Leafs has been cut off, I don't know what he's going to do, but apparently he has... Is he gonna, got garden leave? <laughs> he's yeah. not. Well, I think he had about five minutes of garden so leave wait a second, between jobs. Is he still at UBS or does he leave UBS? He no, he's left. He's over at Sherwood Media now. Which is the new Robin Hood thing. Speaking so he's in the of belly, meme stocks. Belly of the, the belly of the meme stock beast, but he gets to write again. But now. the reason we want to talk to him is because I think he was the again. first person yeah. at Bloomberg to really dive into Wall Street bets yes. early, like a year before 
more a year or two years before the meme stock craze yeah. took off. And then there are persistent rumors, and I plan on asking him about this when, when oh. we do the interview, that he is, in fact, a secret Wall Street Bets mod. So we'll is find that really out. a rumor that yeah. people spread? Oh, yeah. wow.